killer curve because of how many people have been killed on the curve. That killer curve in Columbia is where a teenager lost her life over the weekend in a car crash. Good evening, I'm Joey Parker. And I'm Marissa Holloway. Residents along Creasy Springs Road are speaking up and asking the city to follow through on a promise to make the road safer. In a public safety alert tonight, ABC 17's Jillian Furtick talked with residents and city leaders about a safety study done in the area eight years ago. I've been here since 1997. Numerous people have been hurt or killed on this road, this curve. Larry Bozeller is just one of many residents along Creasy Springs Road in Columbia who is speaking out after a teenager was killed and another man is in critical condition in a weekend car crash. It's an issue Bozeller says he's been pushing the city to fix for years. And city leaders say they agree it's a problem area. It's pretty windy, and it's not like a road that would be designed to current safety standards. Fire crews say they've responded to multiple wrecks there over the years. In 2007, the city hired a company to do a study. That study determined the road was unsafe and straightening the curve would be a fix. But that fix came with a price tag, more than $9 million. Although the city approved the project years ago, it still sits in the unfunded category. As we put together projects for the next capital improvement project plan, um, unless there's a big upswelling of support for this project, it's unlikely that we're going to set aside um, money towards it now. But Bozeller says you can't put a price on human life. You've got an 18-year-old that's not going to live any longer because the city did not straighten out the curve that they knew they should have done. But second ward councilman Michael Trapp says there are things other than money to consider about the project. It's a pretty road. Um, and if, if we do straighten it out and take out some of the curves, you know, there's going to be losing a lot of really great old trees. Residents say they're also concerned about a lack of signage to warn drivers ahead of the curve that it's coming. And Trapp says signs are something that can be considered in the short term. In Columbia, Jillian Furtick, ABC 17 News. Although the project has been approved, the city says it's in the 10-year-plus category of approved road projects.